Hi, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Savannah, if we have not yet met. And today I'm going to be doing a casual chatty pack with me. <laughs> weekend trip coming up in a few days and I need to pack. I am a former overpacker turned minimalist, intentionalist. I pack a lot lighter, a lot more simply. While I like to look good and have options for clothes, I find that it can be a bit distracting to have too much while I'm on vacation, especially on a short trip. If I'm able to bring less, it's just easier to get around. You're not having to lug a super heavy suitcase in and out of the car or through the airport. So to me that alleviates stress and just makes it more of a calm, cool, collected, getting to and from on my journey to where I'm going. The second is that it is easier and faster to get dressed, having outfits planned that are simple and can mix and match and not having multiple outfits for every day. And I'm out the door and experiencing my trip. The last reason why I like to pack light is because it's easier to put your suitcase back together when the trip is over. You know, those final hours before you have to catch your flight and you're just filled with anxiety and dread. Well, you can totally avoid that if you just didn't bring that much to start with. It's quick, you toss it back in, you shed it. Meanwhile, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your friends are trying to fit everything back in their suitcase. You can just avoid that if you bring a lot less, just zoop, 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 and out of there. Before I start packing, I like to get grounded with a plan. The first thing I'm going to look up is the weather. So looking at the highs and lows for each day and any other surprise weather that might be popping up. Secondly, I'm gonna look at the number of days I'm there so I can count things like socks and underwear. And then lastly, I look at the breakdown of activities. So whether it's hiking and walking or dining out, whatever your trip has in store. By breaking down the percentage of time I'll spend doing those different kind of categories, however you wanna categorize it, gives me a kind of visual in my mind of what my suitcase is going to look like. A little background on this bag. It was a wedding gift from my very sweet grandma-in-law. <laughs> Thanks, Grandma Sandy. This bag is so nice. It's a Chumi bag, and when I first got it, I thought, gosh, I really only want to use this for special occasions. I don't want to mess it up. My mindset on nice things has shifted over the years. I use them now. I think that I deserve to. I'm worth it when I'm out in the world to have a nice piece of luggage. Maybe this will wear out sooner than if I had only saved it for special times, but I'd way rather make use of it and appreciate it. And then if I do ever have to get a new one, so be it, that is life. Okay, my goal for the suitcase is to just use one side of it and then reserve the other side for my baby's items. I used to be the person that was begging other people to use extra space in their suitcase. I'm happy to say that now I'm the person with extra room in my suitcase. I never thought the day would come, but here we are. All right, it's time to get packing. I'm going to start with toiletries. I'm gonna to start with skincare. So I bring a face wash and a moisturizer. This washes off my makeup or sweat, whatever's going on my face. And this is just a simple moisturizer. I'm not bringing serums. I'm not bringing extra potions. Boom, boom, done. And then next what I have are sunscreens. This is a trip I'm gonna be spending a lot of time outside. So I have my body sunscreen, then also have a face sunscreen. Highly recommend this Elta MD. This is one of the few sunscreens that doesn't make my eyes water. I'd say most facial sunscreens make my eyes burn, but this one does not. This one is super light. It goes well under makeup too. It is over 20 bucks, which is crazy, but hey, it works. For hair care, I have three items. Hairbrush, revolutionary. <laughs> Um, also some hair mousse. I have shorter hair now and if I don't put product in it, I kind of just look like a fluffy animal. So bringing that for sure. And then lastly, a little conditioner. I don't usually bring shampoo and conditioner on trips anymore. I used to bring my big bottles. There's shampoo and conditioner pretty much anywhere you're going to stay, but there's a pool where I'm staying this weekend and I am a freaking pool rat. You know how it is with the chlorine in your hair and I thought it would be nice to have a little deep conditioner just to like throw in my hair after I've been in the pool all day to have it not be crunchy and scary. <laughs> Moving on to, I guess my mouth, uh, toothbrush, mini toothpaste, boom, boom, done. And the last but not least, my makeup. 
I like to challenge myself on trips now and just have the bare, bare minimum. So I'm bringing a lipstick, the same lipstick I'm wearing now. It's like a berry colored and I can just rub some off if I want it less dramatic. And also I'll be using this as blush, love me some blush. And then I have a mascara and an eyebrow pencil that has a little spoolie wand on the other side. And to contain all of these toiletries, I will be using a Ziploc bag. And yes, I know plastic is the devil, but the Ziploc was already used in our house. And so I've just been reusing it for trips. I will say the thing about having a clear bag that's really nice is it takes no time at all to find what you're looking for. And it's really, really big. So everything fits inside. Plus the bag is flexible. So it can fit pretty much anywhere in your suitcase or purse, wherever you want to put it and everything fits inside. Boom. Next up is accessories. I'm bringing two, a ball cap and sunglasses. <laughs> I also have that really beautiful rancher hat I showed in my ribbon styling video, if you caught that one. And I do love that hat, it's beautiful, but I'm planning to be in the pool. This is more practical because it can get wet and also it's just easier to pack. So no stress with this one and it does look cute on. And then one pair of sunnies that will look good with all my outfits. They look cute with sporty outfits and also with you know more dressed up outfits so these will do the trick next up our shoes i'm bringing two pairs of shoes i could probably get away with just one my flip-flops because we'll be just in the car and then lounging around the house but i know there's some hiking trails and our family has dogs and so i imagine there might be a few walks in the morning i'm going to bring a pair of sneakers too and these ones are really flexible and packed down really really small next we have clothing items which make up a bulk of my suitcase also the weather is going to be pretty dang warm where we're going and so i can get away with packing smaller items let me show you what i have i'm going to start with bottoms i am packing one pair of athletic shorts for lounging about maybe the car ride definitely a walk or a hike and then i'm bringing one pair of black leggings also for those same situations depending on temperature or my mood and one pair of sweatpants for lounging pajamas and then my last bottom is a pair of denim shorts and this is one of my more dressed up items for the weekend in case we go out for shirts, I have two white t-shirts, one black tank top, and a sweatshirt. So the sweatshirt is for cooler evenings or cooler mornings. T-shirts are for literally anything. And a black tank top is a bit more sleek and stylish if I wanna try to dress something up. Next, I am bringing one dress. It is this hot pink maxi dress. It's really vibrant and beautiful. It's light and floaty. It works for by the pool, early morning, drink my coffee, hang out, or even to go out to dinner. And so very versatile and really thin and small. So it packs down really tiny. Lastly is my swimsuit slash undergarments. I am bringing two bras. They're kind of sports bra, bralettes, three pairs of socks. I'm definitely a swimsuit person and used to bring many more swimsuits on trips. I just have one that fits really good right now. It's sleek, it's timeless. So I'll be packing just this one bikini. Now I'm going to pack the suitcase. I like to go by the KonMari method, which is folding things vertically and putting them in the suitcase that way so that you can see everything at just a quick glance. She recommends storing your clothing however it feels most happy. So if it's a sweater, there's not a hard and fast rule and maybe you hang it, maybe you put it into a drawer. Kind of just depends on what you think that sweater likes. I know it's an inanimate object. It's kind of a funny concept, but that question or quick thought of where is this item most happy usually answers my question really, really fast on what to do with an item. So there are some items that don't do as well stacked vertically in here and don't fold well into a solid rectangle. For instance, this dress. I'll typically start with the biggest items. So jeans, sweatpants, jackets, sweatshirts, sweaters, and then work my way down to the smallest items that I can fit and wedge into little pockets. Let's get folding. Just wrapped up packing my suitcase. I'll walk you through everything. I've got my toiletries on top, my sweats, 
jean shorts, leggings, hat, t-shirts, bralettes and swimsuits, sunglasses, my dress, my sneakers, and my socks, and my flip-flops. And then over here, off camera, I packed all of my son's clothes. He has more outfit changes because he's a baby. <laughs> And now I'm ready for my trip to SoCal. Thank you so much for chilling with me today as I packed my bag for the weekend. I'd love to know what your experience with packing has been. Are you the minimalist packer with only the essentials? Are you more of the maximalist? You like to have your options. Either way, whatever works for you is great. I'm personally always trying new things and evolving, so this is how I'm packing right now, but in the future, that could change. Until next time, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next one. Have a fun day. Bye.